Hello, wonderful science students. This is Miss Perry and Tatum here, reporting to you on more of the physics of soda. So we just looked at an example of a soda with 28 grams of sugar, which we converted to be about 6.7 teaspoons, which doesn't sound like a lot, but let's take a look at what does that mean. So if you drank two sodas each day for a month, that would be like consuming about 5.6 gallons of soda each month. So what does that mean when we're looking at 6.7 teaspoons in one of your sodas? That would be like about five, 402 teaspoons of sugar each month, which would convert to about four pounds of sugar each month that you would be consuming. So this is a five pound bag of sugar. And that was based on your 28 grams. But if you take a look at this Dr. Pepper, if you take a look at those nutrition facts, Tatum's going to hold that for us, um, the Dr. Pepper, if you look at your nutrition facts on the side, it has 40 grams of sugar. So if you convert that, then you get 9.5 teaspoons of sugar in each Dr. Pepper. If you drank two of those each month, you would be consuming about six pounds of sugar each month. So. That is the physics on soda, and maybe a New Year's resolution that you may want to make would be to cut out some sodas. All right, have a great day, guys. And there you go. Tatum's going to act like she's drinking it for you. <laughs>